Hello everyone, in this video we're going to create a very basic Hello World version of a Node application. So if you're a complete beginner with Node, this will be perfect for you. Now, to start off with, you can see we have an empty folder here. So we've got nothing in there. Now I've navigated to the CLI of that folder. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do, just before I do this actually, you will need Node on your system. So if I do Node version like this you can see I have version 20 doesn't really matter what version you have it can be 16 it can be 20 or whatever but you will need it on your system if you're using Mac you can use something like brew to install it and um, if you're using Windows uh, it's a little bit easier um, anyway so once you have node in your system do an npm init and just do a dash y because if you don't do a dash y for yes it kind of asks you a lot of you know boilerplate questions and you kind of just go yes 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 anyway so put the dash y now once we have done that you can see that we have this package.json file now in this package.json file we don't have a lot of information um, but we do have a few little bits so we've got the name uh, we've got the version not that important description again not that important and uh, the main so that's the, the file that we're going to create we're going to create an index.js file um, and these other things you can just ignore them for now we will be coming back to scripts in a little bit but for now just ignore it okay so what do we want to do now we want to create our file so we go and create our new file index.js and sure we'll add it to git now there's some code that I'm just going to copy in here I will put a, a link to the repo even though it's only a small little bit of code but um, it just will save you typing it out yourself now you can see my IDE tells me straight away that it's having an issue with one of the modules this module is called express now I could install it using just by clicking this button but I want something for that everyone can use. So even if you're not using this ID or your ID or text editor, it doesn't prompt you like that. You can do an npm once you have node installed, then do an install and then the name of it. So express in this case. If you were using a different library, you would do npm install whatever the different library is. So we're going to hit enter there and you can see it's installed it pretty quickly. Now, since it has done that install, number one, the squiggly line is gone, which is good, and uh, no more problems. And it has created this package.lock, sorry, package.lock.json file. It just gives a bit more detail um, got to do with the dependencies that we're using. So, for example, the express uh, library that we just downloaded. Now, one thing to add, we have this new thing here. Uh, you might not notice it, um, but we've got this dependencies object now, and it's got this thing called Express, and it's got a version number. So that'll be handy in a minute, will you see? And we've got these node modules. So that's where the actual uh, that's where the actual libraries are. <coughs> so you can see if you download uh, a JavaScript library, like we downloaded express it downloads like loads of other ones so you can see there's express there right um but there's there's many other ones because some libraries depend on other libraries which depend on other libraries and etc so you know you download one thing but there can be uh, multiple things that are actually downloaded in your node modules okay so how do i go and run this so i could do node dot js sorry i could do node um, and then the name of the file which is index.js and if i was to run that you can say you can see it says server listening on port 3000 how do we know that's actually working so before this it was not working and now if i refresh this you can see it is working now it says hello world and if i was to go back to this and i was to hit you know control c or um, command c and stop that if i go to refresh this now it's gone so it's it's no longer working so 
what do we want to do next? If we were to push this code onto GitHub, we would only need these two files here, this index.js and this package.json. This package lock.json is kind of redundant um, for us pushing code, that point of view anyway. Uh, also the node modules. The node modules can be downloaded um, by the person that's going to be the other person that's using the code. So we've just got these two files. But if I was to go and do node uh, index.js now, it says there's no module found. So we, we have the same problem as before. So if I was to go back to this index, you can see it says that the module is not installed. Okay, so that's not good. But rather than doing the npm install and the name of it, once we do that, once or once somebody else has done it for us and it is saved here in the package.json file, you can see it here, we can do something a little bit easier. So we can just do npm install. So we don't worry about the name of the package or anything like that. We just do npm install. And the beauty about this is if we had multiple dependencies, now we only have one here, but this could be a long list. There could be 22 dependencies. Um, if this was a larger project, you do that one command, npm install, and it will install all of them, which is great. Now, what's next? So let's go and try it now. See, does it work? Node index.js. It says it's working. Is it really? Uh, refresh this, and it is. Brilliant. So if I was to cancel this now, there's one extra thing we can do. So if I was to do an npm start and hit enter, I get this, right? These are all errors. It's saying it doesn't know what I'm talking about. Missing script start. So it doesn't know what start is, which is a pretty fair point because we didn't tell it about any start script. So if we go to scripts in our package.json, we go down here, we put start in here, along with a colon, and now what we actually want to run. So we want to run node and then index.js. So if we save that, and if we go and try and run npm start again, you can see it says it's running. Let's just double check and uh, refresh this. Yeah, okay, so it's working, brilliant. And I guess just a little bit on the code and what's happening. So we're using this library here, Express. We're saying it's going to be on port 3000. You could change this to 5000 or whatever you want. Um, it's saying the URL is this. It's just a forward slash. So it's the first thing that you that you come to. And this is the message it sends back. So this could be something else. And if we were to... Well, we need to save it first, but we also need to stop the server, more importantly. And let's start it again. Come back here. It still says, hello world, but on a refresh, it'll say something else. And you could imagine if this was changed to maybe uh, 5,000, and we we're to change this to my name, Ryan. We go back here. That's That's not working. So if I go back here, oh, we actually... We have an error here. So, okay, so 5000 is actually already in use by something else. So let's just change that to 4000. And let's see, will that work? Okay, so now it's listening on 4000. I should have noticed that uh, there was an error thrown here, but I didn't. So if I go back here and change that to a 4, something else. Okay, cool. Brilliant. I hope you learned a little bit more about Node in this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.